Well, I'll just make a little update on the goats. Things are going really well with them. Um, we're learning. You can see our injured goat here. She's still packing that paw a little bit, but the vet has cleared her, cast is off. We've got to do a little bit of PT with her uh, just to get her used to putting weight on it again. But I want to show you guys this feeder that we bought. Um, excuse me. Uh, this is built by um, Range Gate Company, which they're in Yoakum, Texas. And we actually just found it at a, a local feed store. Emerson, don't do that local feed store but you can see by design what the point is you throw it's just a hay bunk really but it's a freestanding hay bunk and it actually has that little pan on the bottom where if you want to oh, you can dump in some cute. you know grain or um or other you know feed supplements it's got little slots at the end so the water will run out if it does get rained on but of course if it's getting rained on that means your hay is getting rained on um so we got it just for the hay and what we'll ultimately do is we'll put a little roof on it here we'll just strap some tubing i mean pvc is fine just strap some tubing across these two end rails and then do a little pitch, just gable in the roof on it just to keep the, like I said, keep the water off the hay. But the whole point of this, again, it's that it's, it's a freestanding hay bunk. And you can see by the size of our goats, I mean, you could have a dozen goats at a time could, could feed off this thing. So it's a good size hay bunk, probably a little too big really for what we needed. Um, but of course we are planning on growing the herd. So like I said, I just wanted to show that to you. Um, we kind of went, you know, round and round and round about different ideas, what we were gonna do. We thought about, they had a little one of tractor supply that was like 75 bucks um, that you just screw to a wall. And we were gonna buy that one, we were close. Um, of course, we didn't want to put on the outside of this wall because there's no drip edge. And even if you put it on the inside, on this back wall, actually because of how I did this, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I didn't put a proper drip edge thinning out so the water actually just run down, it, it'll drip and run down this back wall. So your hay would have still gotten wet. Um, course out here without a roof on it's gonna get wet but anyway that that one that screws to the wall was like $75 and was not even a quarter of the size of this one well this one's 150 you know and uh, so twice the price but four times the volume so and, and I think this is an all-around better product I really do uh, I like that it's lightweight it's portable uh, and it's freestanding so you can put it wherever you want so um, yeah, we took, took a little shopping around. We found this at a little feed store called like Chatcheries or something like that. It's in Dayton, Texas, uh, just west of Dayton on 1960. Uh, if you guys are familiar with the area, you know where it's at, I'm sure. But that's where we found them. That's the only place we found them, actually. Um, so yeah, I don't know what what else I really want to tell you guys. Just wanted to show you that feeder, really. I just drug it in here and threw a couple, threw a couple clumps of hay in there just for a test. And you can see the girls are happy to have it. These Nigerian dwarves, um, they benefit in milk production from having free range alfalfa. Um, so you can see here we've been giving them just a, a clump each day, thrown it up here on the on the floor of the goat barn. Um, and you can see there's a clump here of this older uh, coastal, and they don't care for that garbage at all. They'll, they'll pick through it, um, but it's mostly bedding as far as I'm concerned. But the alfalfa, they really go after for food and uh, it, it benefits it's starting to show we're giving them more and more alfalfa and their milk production is actually increasing a little bit since we got them. caroline no no there's dirt in it because you put your hands in it stay out of it so yeah um otherwise things are going great with the goats like i said we're getting better at them we're getting used to them um the kids are just excellent with them caroline i say that and then she swats one for no reason <laughs> but that's just her being a pest Anyway, yeah, things are going great, and uh, we'll be giving you guys some updates here soon. We've got some uh, new babies coming home, so we are already growing the herd.